What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Josh Shelkin and today I'm making potato skins. But what else? I'm gonna take those potato skins and use them as buns for a bacon cheeseburger. Let's get on with the recipe. If you're a long time viewer, you know that my cooking mantra is the path of least resistance to deliciousness. That's why I have no problem using the microwave, which is the first step to cooking these potatoes before I fry them. While the potatoes cook in the microwave, I'm gonna use this skillet to cook this bacon. Now, if there's one thing you need to know about me and cooking bacon is that I rarely use a stovetop frying pan or a skillet to make it. It's the least efficient way you could do it, but for the purpose of this video, I had no choice. Now that the bacon's cooked, it's time to cut these potatoes and hollow out the center. Now the method to this is quite simple. Use a knife to trace the inside part where you're gonna use a spoon to scoop it out. That way, you're not gonna break the potato before frying them. Now the reason I preliminarily cook the potatoes is one, to make sure that it's easy to cut and take out the center, and two, it'll take less time to fry them when they're half cooked. I'm using a vegetable oil to fry these potatoes, but you could use any high smoking point oil, like a canola or a peanut oil. Either way, take it out when it's golden brown and crispy, and then hit it with some salt right away. Quickly divide the shredded cheese amongst all the potato skins, then place it on a baking tray and bake it at 350 for roughly five minutes or until the cheese melts. While the potato skins are in the oven and the cheese is melting, chop up four strips of the bacon. The other two strips we're gonna cut in half and use on the burgers. You know, the cool thing about this recipe is that even if you didn't wanna make the burgers, you still got really easy path of least resistance potato skins. Once the cheese is melted on the potatoes, add some of that chopped bacon. Then add some of the sour cream and garnish with some scallions or green onions. And there's step one of this recipe, and this is my personal favorite configuration for a potato skin. You get some saltiness from the bacon, you get some creaminess from the melted cheese and the sour cream, and to pull it all together, some onions. Okay, now on to the variation by ways of a smash burger. Add two of your burgers to a hot skillet or frying pan. Place a piece of parchment paper on top and using a spatula and something to press it, flatten it as thin as you can. Flip the burgers and add a piece of American cheese on each, then stack the burgers. While the cheese melts on the burgers, spread the green onions, bacon, and sour cream on two of the potato skins. This is gonna create sort of like a burger sauce, if you will. Then place the double patty in the middle, add some bacon, use the other potato skin to close it out, and there you have it. A potato skin bacon smash burger. Whoa. It's that easy to make a vessel, potato skin, and fill it with all things delicious. So it was only logical to take that and make it into a burger form, gluten-free. Guys, if you wanna make potato skins at home, if you wanna take those potato skins that you made at home and turn it into a bacon cheeseburger at home, Check out the link in the description down below. Hit up recipechampions.com. It's the website that I publish all my recipes on at least once a week. I gotta finish the rest of these potato skins and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.